Well, it's time for some Megami Tensei. Yesterday was uppercase Wednesday. Today is lowercase Thursday. I'm gonna play some nice, quiet Megami Tensei. We are going to play some Megami Tensei. No, 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 no yelling, but normal talking is okay. For now. For now. Oh, I hate my glasses. are fucked up. Let me find a lens cloth. <laughs> I got one over here. Somewhere. Oh, so I did some uh, I did some grinding over the last few days, but really, I don't feel like I made a whole lot of progress. I think I only got like yeah. three or four levels. Yeah. Hey, Tirith. Hey, Tirith. Welcome to Lowercase Thursdays on the Ghost Me channel. We should perfect our NPR voices for streaming. Um, let's look at the map. Okay, so we are in the Sea of Flames. So we went through all of Mazurka, and now we're in the Sea of Flames, and we're headed toward Infinity. Um, How do you make your text tiny in Twitch like that? Do you know how to do that? No. You don't talk in Twitch chat. <laughs> um. Hang on, I'm disoriented. Okay, we're in the Sea of Flames. So, there is a chamber of shadows, a cathedral of shadows here, and a, uh, a healer and a save point down here and how did we get here um i think there's just a spot that teleports you here right did i just get teleported out of mazurka to here no, you were... Well, I guess it was technically Mazurka, but it was. It looked like the Sea of Flames. It was like the lower level of Mazurka, and it was on fire, and then I got teleported here from there. So that's confusing. How do I get back? Maybe I don't. Hopefully you won't need to. Yeah, that's true. Um, Tirith is just busting out all the typefaces. Get good at Twitch. Oh my gosh, she's got like black letter shit going on there. I want to type like that all the time. <laughs> Just be a real asshole. Yes. Um. So I've pretty much explored this first section with all of the stuff in it. And I've started to go to this section. I think what we're going to do first is go to the Cathedral Shadows. Because I did refill my monster party. And I might be able to make something cool. So. Ooh, what does that mean? Have we seen the yellow ones yet? I don't know. I don't know what it means. So, like, I got the wyvern and the basilisk, I guess. You have that one already? Yeah, so that's not useful. That's see, just a tiger. See, this is something new. And it does have some offensive spells. And it's got 395 HP. It's level 39.
Yeah, tier with K's used to be F's. That's just how it used to be. K? Yeah, she says, like, until you need to type something with a K, then the K is an F in that black letter font. What about S's? Are S's F's? Because that's what used to be F's. I've never seen a K as an F. This guy. Yeah, who we certainly don't want. So, like, the Sebak and the Naga and the Jin are good. Is the Wyvern good? You just it's, got it. It's not bad. I've been using it. I do like it. Star Spawn! Hey, Star Spawn, how are you? Um. Tear just typed the whole alphabet for us. Oh, okay, there we go. No, the S is normal, but the K is an F. That's weird, cause like, like in in old in old English text, I feel like it's always the the S's that are mm -hmm. that are F's. This one's built different. Built different. So like, okay. Let me let me back out of this and take a look at actually can I look at the status there? It looks like I can. Okay. So the wyvern The Basilisk has very low HP. But the Wyvern, if I combine it with the Basilisk, I get that tiger. And it has more HP and magic, which I don't think the Wyvern has right now. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I don't see how that could hurt anything. Yeah, I mean, if it's a higher level and it's got better stats, yeah, you might as well. You may just want to release that Orias. Just to get it out of my... Yeah, because I'm not using it. Yeah, it's like, it's so low level. And I feel like, I don't know if it is the one that when you try to merge it with any with somebody it makes the dryad yeah i may be wrong star spawn says he is stressing because he has handyman stuff he needs to do but is a lousy handyman yeah i fucking feel that bro <laughs> i suck shit at like fixing shit like i figure stuff out a lot of the time but sometimes it just uh just has to be that way <laughs> I am Holy Day One. I am at your service. That's literally just a fucking tiger. Mm -hmm. We are the tiger. What if we had a whole party and we were the Tiger King? It is the year of the tiger. Fucking Tiger King RPG. Okay. Um. So now we need to... Let's get over to the healer. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Um... This is the Sea of Flames, and every step you take damages you. Also, I don't have any Magnetite, because for some reason, the monsters on this floor do not want to give me Magnetite. Accidentally summoned the thing because I said, "Here's the thing." So that's my bad. Uh, oh, that again. <laughs> uh, Tirith is posting all of our emojis and I would or emotes, and I was thinking about an emote I need to make. Oh yeah, because we have empty slots. Right? Yeah, we like, do. They we did do. that update a while back and just gave everybody a bunch. I'm thinking a bonk. A, like a like a like the Ghost Street face, but with like you know the bat yeah. and its head is dented. <laughs> Fucking go to uh, go to horny jail. <laughs> Tirith's having a good one today. 
I mean, I feel like if it was literally a bonk go to horny jail, it would work too. Because we talk about cum and dicks all the time. We do be talking about cum and dick a lot. Join me in. Join me in. I love the design of this character, this creature. This I do. Demon. I do too. Um, I when I run into it again, I'll talk to it now that I have a free slot. And also, you know what? I should let that one monster go because I should talk to this monster and the giant. Yeah, because so, the giant you talked to while you were grinding, and you they said, you know, oh, your party's full. Yeah. Um. So let me let me get over to the healer real quick. Okay, these motherfuckers right here, um, <laughs> they only show up, for the most part, in parties this large, and they have one of those spells, that energy drain spell, where they laugh at you and you lose a level. Like, you literally lose a fucking level. Um, so I don't fight them, and even if I did fight them, which I've tried to do a couple times, I almost always end up losing a level... Uh, the, like one of their attacks always gets through like that and they don't even give you that much xp for leveling like it, they, they they give you so little xp it's not worth it anyway what about magnetite it's like hit or miss okay that's the way it seems with all the enemies it's like sometimes they give you magnetite and sometimes they don't yeah see luckily they don't know they don't, like, the AI doesn't know to use that spell on Nakajima and Yumiko, right? What the hell is that? Those are bits. Tirith, why? Tirith just had some bits laying around? 69. It's 69, 69 bits. 69 bits, fuck yeah. Please let me go. Thank you. Um, when I looked that spell up, it says it only targets Yumiko and Nakajima. That's not true. Okay. Well, I say that's not true because I assume, I, maybe it is then. I assumed it wasn't true because nine times out of ten, it says had no effect. So... I assumed that it was laughing at one of the monsters, which can't lose a level. I mean, it may just have a low success rate. It's just, you know, you fight eight of them in a party, and each one gets yeah. to try. Yeah, yeah, Like, that's the thing, is, like, it, it does have, it seems to have a low success rate, but one of them always gets through by the end of the fight. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I get 0.10% of a level... But I lose a level. Yeah. So it's it's totally not worth it to fight them. Yeah, magnetite. I'm out of magnetite. Um, I have you know I, I have like 135 right now because I just fought something that gave me some. But like magnetite is what your monsters feed on while they're summoned, and if that you don't have magnetite, they just start taking HP damage as you walk around. And we're already taking HP damage. And it's just going to be that way because I can't find anything that gives me enough magnetite when I fight it. Um, so we're just going to have to fucking heal a whole lot. So there's probably going to be a lot of backtracking to the healer in this. I, I don't know what else to do. Let's talk to this. They can't talk at all because it's a fucking full moon. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, Tira says she has no idea why she has those bits. Did, did you have exactly 69? I doubt it, but that would be really funny. Why are we fucking turning me to stone all of a sudden, man? But they're Gorgons, aren't they? Is that not what it labels them as? I guess they are, yeah. So she had 98, hasn't bought any in like two years, and doesn't think you can earn them anymore. Yeah, I don't think you can earn bits anymore. Alright, 
Um, I've not been turned to stone by one of these guys at all, ever, until this fight. And now Nakajima and Yumiko have been turned to stone in this fight. So that's fun. That bodes well. I mean, you have an item that will cure it, but... Yeah, but I'm very close to the healer, so I'm just going to try to make it. Yeah, because the one thing you have more than you know what to do with in this game is money. I did make a lot of my money back, yeah. You know, I spent a lot of it last time on new weapons and stuff. Um, but I, I have made most of it back, I believe. Also, I've been putting points into Yumiko's strength instead of her other stats because we got those pretty high already mm -hmm. um so she's got a really good weapon that hits multiple times and now she's starting to do better damage with it actually actually when i was grinding i saw her crit three times in a row nice just pretty crazy and nakajima has a new weapon and i saw him do a crit of like 600 damage at one point jesus How's your coffee? It's okay. It's light roast, and we don't really medium. like medium. It's medium roast. Mm -hmm. We don't really like medium roast, but it's all we've got right now. But it's it's all right. You brewed it, Bo. I've tried to like light and medium roasts, but I don't. It's just not good. I don't like it. I don't. Coffee shouldn't taste acidic. <laughs> Grinding has been fun, though, because um, I talked about this yesterday, I think, but I, I had that, um, that Retro Pie Game Boy system that Amanda gave me. So I, I got it all reset up uh, a few days ago and transferred my save game to that, and I was able to... Um, to grind on that little handheld device, which was pretty nice. Um, I gotta get some rechargeable batteries for it, which I'm gonna try to get tomorrow, but uh, that should be a useful thing for... Yeah, any of these old games yeah, that just... we need, that any of these old RPGs where grinding is necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah play Final Fantasy or, or another Megami Tensei or anything like that, we should be able to just transfer the save over on non-stream days and uh, do some grinding. A little handheld anywhere, lay in bed and do it. So I suppose that they like Dark Roast, but the caffeine levels are lower, and therefore it usually sticks with medium. That's, yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, caffeine doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Other than keep me awake when I try to sleep. Like, if I'm sleepy and I'm sitting up, it doesn't wake me up. But if I'm trying to go to bed, I can't go to sleep. Yeah, I don't... I just enjoy the taste of coffee. I, yeah, I just really like coffee. But yeah, I don't ever use it... As a stimulant. As a stimulant, I guess. Um, like, I do like to have a cup of coffee in the morning. But that's more of, like, a ritual thing and less of a, an actual... Utility. Utility thing. But yeah, like, I just, um, you know, light, light medium roasts, I, I guess people really like the acidity, the acidity, the level of acidity and like the brightness of it and stuff. But to me, it just, I, I don't know. And it may, maybe I just never have had like a cup brewed right. I don't know. I feel like we brew stuff right. When we brew dark roast, I really like it. Um... But yeah, I, but like my dark roast coffee, I kind of like it to be very strong and a little harsh. So like the opposite end of, of the spectrum with like the low harshness and the high acidity, I'm not really a fan of. Like some of my favorite dark roast because like dark roast obviously like if you get a good one it'll have like that caramelly chocolatey stuff going on but a lot of the dark roasts that i like um also have like almost an edge of like uh but uh, like that burnt marshmallow bit on top because it's you know it's just like the the actual 
burn and the roasting that takes place. <laughs> what? Star Spawn asks, Folgers or Taster's Choice? No. <laughs> <laughs> I buy Starbucks coffee um, because I haven't found a local whole bean roaster that I really enjoy. But we buy, we typically buy a whole bean um, Starbucks uh, coffee. The Usually the, the Verona blend uh -huh. or the French if we can't find the Verona. Um, and we grind it and, and everything and use typically a pour over setup. Yeah, it's the quickest. Probably, yeah. I feel like. What? Uh, into Ubon. Oh, okay. Jim's about to die, and that's not okay. Yeah, you never cured Yumiko, or did she just get paralyzed or petrified again? I never, I never cured her. She, uh, she's the one that has the spell. Oh, I thought you said you were next to the healer. I was close to the healer, but I haven't gotten there yet. I feel like Mediyama keeps doing less and less for us. Um, yeah. I mean, it's fine. So, like, for real, it's honestly like uh, the game was going easier on me when I was playing on my handheld. Like, now it's just beating the shit out of me. Because I'm playing in front of people. To resummon our gin, and we want to summon the Dewan. You want to dismiss the Arias? Um. Yeah. I don't even know what that other one is. I haven't seen it in so long. So we got my Sebek. Um, like this guy's got good health, and like you know, he 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 does okay, and he's got Mediyama, which is really nice to have an extra Mediyama. But Bufurama um doesn't really do anything when he casts it because it's a lower level ice spell, uh -huh. so he does very minimal damage. It can paralyze or not paralyze, but it can freeze some enemies so they don't have a chance to attack. But it it's not that useful. And then I've got um, the Naga, which is kind of the same case. Good HP, but the magic just doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, both of them have pretty low intellect, so it's not going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, this is the Lakshmi. Uh, which knows Recarm. It does. And it has decent intellect, but its, well, it's health isn't the worst. But still... I what is? Probably... I wonder what Dormina is. I don't know that spell. Uh, let me look it up. Yeah, look it up real quick. Um, the Jin is very good. The Jin has high intellect and high vitality, and it can it, it does really nice physical attacks. Um, but it also has Bufodine, which is the higher level ice spell, and especially on flying enemies, it'll it'll knock the shit out of them in groups. 
And it has recarm if we need it. And then we just got this, which Xanmeon is a wind spell. Um, I don't know what Zeo or Tarukaja does, so we might have to look those up too. Okay, so we are working our way down this hall. So, okay. And again, I don't know how this is going to go because um, I mean, we're taking a lot of damage every time we walk. Because I have, I'm walking on fire and I have no um... Oh, this wiki says Mapara lasts until the next new moon. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Sorry, I'm trying to find oh, you're okay. the page you're I okay. always go to for the list of spells. Because it, it has the, uh, I guess, the Famicom original version, and then it has this version. Yeah, the new, new Bible have, version. Yeah, different names. Sorry that you get turned around here, so I have to repeatedly check the map. I tried to intimidate this wyvern, but it didn't work. <laughs> it's probably the same one spell. before. I don't know, you seem to always have trouble locating the spells, I guess, because, like, the translations are all different. Nakajima. Um, I'm gonna get Nakajima's vitality, strength, and speed up to 30, and then I think I'm gonna start putting a couple points into luck because luck is supposed to help you with crits okay. and with the ability to run away. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I can't. I can't find anything. I don't know where I found it before. Cause like, if I go to like Yumiko's page, which is normally where I have to go to get to what I'm trying to go, it has her spells listed as you know. Megami Tensei, and then the Yuyaku Megami Tensei, which is what this is. Yeah. But, like, I can't... I don't know. I can't find a list of these spells from 
from from this game. Yeah. You know? It's not a big deal. I think I'm going to get her strength up to 15, and then I'm going to start putting levels back into the into vitality and luck. Oh, I guess we were already upgrading her luck for running away. Yeah, you had been putting luck into her I for a while. About that. Well, I'm at least going to start going back and forth with her vitality and strength. Alright, I need to use Mediyama. Spells with Z are electricity spells. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll have to use that on something here in a minute. Or, I'm sorry, the Zeo ones are. The Zon are force spells, it says. Mm, okay, I thought they were wind, but that, that makes sense. But here's a new building. Nothing here. Dorminar is a sleep spell. Okay, I guess that makes sense. A dormant, dormancy, dormant. So yeah, let's use... What about uh, Terukaja? Have you seen that anywhere? I'm going to use Zio on, on these Wyverns and see what happens. How is it spelled T-A-R? T-A-R-U-K-A-J-A. -A -A. Attack, power, increase, all allies. Oh, hey, that's not bad either, man. Uh, we do have Dunkin' Donuts. I have never enjoyed it. Yeah, you're not a fan of Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts, uh huh? Well, the donuts are okay. They're not my favorite. I do prefer Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme is the best donut you can get, pretty much. Are you talking about the coffee? There? Yeah, yeah. Star Spawn was asking if we uh, have Dunkin' Donuts. I've never had coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I have, and it's just. I don't know. It's like the base coffee isn't that great. And it's mostly just sugar, you know? Uh huh. Where is a Dunkin' Donuts? Is there still one in, in Warrior? Uh, yeah, I think so. There used to be one in Walmart. When was there a Dunkin' Donuts in For Walmart? a very brief amount of time. I don't remember that. Yeah, like, I, they, you know, that, that Walmart opened with a McDonald's in the front, and that stayed there for the longest time, and then since then it's been sort of... Now, I mean, for since COVID, it's been nothing. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a Dunkin' Donuts and... It was a pretzel place, wasn't it? Yeah, and... Aunt somebody pretzel, yeah. Yeah, and then there was a... It's like a checkers, right? Yeah, yeah, there was a checkers. Which there, is not which is... a common place around here. Yeah. I, 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 next time we're by a Dunkin' Donuts, I'll have to grab a black coffee because, like, Roadkill drinks coffee with stuff in it, and I, I tend to not do that. But I do like just plain black coffee. 
Star's mom says he does not understand the appeal for Krispy Kreme. They're not bad, but they're not amazing. Have mm. you ever had them hot? Mm. <laughs> Fresh off the presses. So we can't eat Krispy Kreme, but uh, I mean, I'm just I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Star Spawn. Uh, yes, Tirith, we have nail salons everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there are <laughs> there are nail salons in our WalMarts. Because there's a nail salon and a little hair salon usually in the same place i think <laughs> first off that's what everyone says like look crispy cream is so good in my opinion that i can remember specific times i've eaten crispy cream because it was so particularly good uh -huh. that time like like you know one of the times i'm thinking about because yeah. like we were it was me and you and David and Amanda, yeah. and we were driving late, home late from, uh... Like, just a city nearby that's yeah. slightly nicer. I think, I think, we, had, I think <laughs> we had gone to a movie. Yeah, probably. And we went through the Dunkin', I mean, the Krispy Kreme drive through and got uh, a box of just plain glazed, and they were so hot and fresh, it was like a cloud fucking melting in your mouth, and we ate, we all ate like like they were gone before we got home. Yeah, I think we ate the whole box, the four of us, before we got home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Star Spawn. I just feel like the ones you can get at the store, Krispy Kreme, are the best, in my opinion. Like if you go to a store and buy some, I if you. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean anything where it's made, where you're not making something fresh and you're not going to a literal bakery, you know. Like if you go to an actual bakery, it's probably going to be a better donut. There's like one bakery around here, and I've only been to it when I was a kid. <laughs> That's not even true though. There's there's, um. Oh yeah. There's a, a donut bakery, not that far from us, and they suck. Krispy Kreme is a billion times better. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect here? <laughs> also, that, that, you know, you say that's a literal bakery, but it was a chain as well. And then a bunch of different people have bought it out since it's gone out of business. It wasn't a chain, though. There was one other one, and they opened, they opened okay. one here. I, I, well, I bring just, us good donuts, Star Spawn. I just I don't know. <laughs> I'm contending that maybe Star Spawn hasn't had good Krispy Kreme somehow. Like maybe it maybe it's just been anomalies every time because Krispy Kreme is so good. It's just like I don't I don't see how Dunkin' Donut like I don't like Dunkin' Donuts. But again, it's probably one of those things where um Oh my god, Tira. Friendship revoked. <laughs> Like, I'm sure it's one of those things where it's what you're raised on. And, like, Dunkin' Donuts weren't, like, unheard of, but there weren't any near us growing up. All we had was Krispy Kreme, and right. even that wasn't near near us. We'd still have to go somewhere else to get it. But still, every time I've had Dunkin' Donuts, it's like, it's just a block of sugar. Like, it's just a different style of donut. And, like, they're fine, but I, I don't know. Like, to me... And, like, I've had donuts that I don't know like maybe I've had a better donut than Krispy Kreme from somewhere like I, I remember my dad brought some donuts home from some bakery mm -hmm. in, in Florida in Florida one time and they were they were really good but I don't know just I don't know I can't can't really think of anything better than Krispy Kreme Okay, at least you're saying Krispy Kreme is better than Dunkin'. What's the best donut you've had, Tirith? Both of you, what is the best donut you've had? I mean, I feel like Tirith has lived in areas where, like, yeah, there probably are better donuts. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Tirith also goes out and does shit. <laughs> like, I'm not... <laughs> like, we, we, we don't do anything. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not trying to argue that Krispy Kreme is the best Oh, ever, no, no, I don't. Like, but, that's what I'm saying, you know. If you go to a legitimate bakery, it's probably going to be a better donut. But I also contend that the bakeries around here are not as good as Krispy Kreme. Like, the, the other one that has been in the city near us since I was a kid, I, I was too young to really know. Yeah. I feel like it was probably good, but, I mean... I was like 
ten. I don't yeah. really fucking remember. Okay, see, both of them are basically saying what I said. They've gone to good bakeries and had good donuts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I guess, like, I would, I would, I would definitely assume that that would be better. But anecdotally, I have not had a better bakery donut because the bakeries that I've been to kind of sucked. Tirith has also had vegan donuts from Voodoo. Yeah, Krispy Kreme has vegan donuts in the UK. They don't have them here. I mean, come on, though. Chocolate-covered, cream-filled, the Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> Fucking cream-pieing you in the mouth. <laughs> like, oh my god. So good. I can, I can taste it right now. I mean, we very likely just have, like, trash Alabama palettes, but fuck, I would... Well, I mean that. I mean, hurt someone for a Krispy Kreme donut sometimes. Uh huh. Those ones from Florida were really good, though. I don't know what bakery that was. Yeah. I think it was called the Donut Hole, but every time I've tried to look it up, there are only about a million donut yeah. shops called the Donut Hole. Like, like my dad had. I don't think. I don't really... See, literally, as I was saying that, Starspawn told me not to eat at the donut hole in Seattle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, I don't remember if it was my dad had, had, had to go somewhere in Florida, or if maybe someone he worked with had gone somewhere, but I remember that really early one morning, either he had or someone had brought him a whole box of these white sugar powdered chocolate cream filled donuts mm -hmm. from some some semi famous place down there and it was it was really fucking good they were they were pretty stellar and like also i feel like it's the kind of donut because like i would also contend that there are places that have like a better x donut than krispy kreme but I've never had a better glazed donut than Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Cause uh, the 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 bake when when this bakery down the street from us first opened, um, they had like raspberry filled donuts, mm -hmm. and they were like really good raspberry preserves and seeds in them and everything. Yeah, those were better than a jelly filled donut from Krispy Kreme. They also had apple fritters. They also had apple fritters, which are fucking amazing. I love apple fritters, and I don't think Krispy Kreme even has that. But uh, as far as like a plain glazed donut, I I think Krispy Kreme has the best, probably anywhere. Or at least the consistently best from anywhere. It's it's because you said "ug," which has two G. You spelled it with two G's. That's why it's here. Oh yeah, the ghost is horny. It wants to talk about Dragnog. Do we need that bonk go to horny jail emote for the ghost? <laughs> Ooh! 
What's up? Source one's still talking about the specific market, I guess, in uh uh Seattle. Mm -hmm. Cause he's saying as someone who worked in the market, uh you get dirt on other vendors. Let's just say the Pike Place Donut Shop has a high percentage of cockroach part in the batter. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Ugh. Ugh. Like, not to be that guy, but when somebody else prepares your food, you should probably expect that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Like, I don't want cockroach in my food. But I also don't want to go home and make a whole donut on my own, so... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta eat some cockroach. <laughs> Tears wants a whole fried cockroach in her french fries. That's just protein, bro. Yeah, I try to be, um, you know, obviously there are cultures that eat insects, and I know it's like a big thing right now concerning, uh, like replacing, like, cattle protein and stuff, like maybe insect protein could be uh, a more environmentally friendly thing. Um, I don't really know the statistics on that because I think that falls under that category of like trying to solve a, a, a personal problem that giant factories are really causing. But um, I don't, I don't like the idea of eating bugs. <laughs> yeah, the texture is not um, it, pleasant on my brain. <laughs> it, it freaks me out. So do not, do not want to eat cockroach. Uh, real talk. The idea of having a bug leg in my teeth um, makes my skeleton come out of my skin. Oops. What'd you do? I can't use to start now. I used too many magic spells. Which should be okay, but we gotta be very careful and start heading back soon. Oh, so that stairs up. So have you been here? No, no, no. This is brand new. So it doesn't. Oh, did you not go through? No, no, no. Okay, so that starts going up into Infinity. Okay, I know in Infinity those vampire ghost enemies they'll be blue, I think, and they can cast the energy drain okay. spell. They're like, you know, the incubus looking dudes. Uh, yeah, Tirith is saying, uh, cockroach leg in your teeth, all twitchy, tickling your lip. And I want you to know that. Why? <laughs> I thought we were friends, Tirith. You just hit me with that. Mickey, it's Riku. They put bugs in him. What? 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 Excellent use of that. You know, it's the earth. <clears throat> All right. We're going to book it back to the healer. Because we've almost finished this floor, it looks like. God damn it. Actually, that was good. I wish I wasn't like, well, I guess it's, it's like sort of half and half. Like I am not, I don't really have the space in the kitchen that I would want to like set up a good, like frying setup to fry a donut. Right. Um, but also I just, I don't have a lot of experience with frying foods. So it kind of intimidates me, but I would really like to be able to make from scratch vegan donuts. 
And like, you know, I have a donut tray and I can make little baked donuts, but it's not the same. No. I mean, we can go to David and Amanda's. We got a key. They got a fryer. Yeah. I guess one day we should go over there and try to fry some stuff. Starspawn said, bugs don't bother me. Hell, our blackberry season is winding down. Pick the ton. There's often fruit fly, fly larva. It all disappears in the jam. <laughs> that would be, like, the like a really good slogan for a, for a jam company. I'm coming. What up, Greg? Like, it all disappears in the jam. <laughs> yeah, like Starspawn should should start selling jam and then sell t-shirts that say it all disappears in the jam. Yeah, like, I mean, if there's stuff there and, like, it's just there and I don't really know it, it's, it's whatever, <laughs> but... Yeah, bugs freak me out. Bugs are friends to me. I don't want to eat bugs. Yeah. They're friends. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to hurt a bug unless it's like... I don't want to hurt a bug. If a bug is on me, I might, you know, reaction reactionarily hurt it. Um, but, yeah. Our spot says our blackberry jam is called blackberry stigmata. I need to design a proper label someday. Oh my god, I want some of that. That sounds awesome. Blackberry is so fucking good. I'm a huge fan of blackberry. Berries are good. What up, Greg? We stepped out of the healer and we were assaulted by a literal gang of of ghost knights. right back into the healer but I think this should give us some good XP at least these guys are pretty resistant to magic it looks like they skipped leg day though yeah they got skinny little legs they're they're actually ghosts so Greg, we've had a long donut conversation. What's your favorite donut? Uh, as in, like, what's your favorite like do like place to get a donut? Like, who do you think has the best donuts? Like, Duncan is pretty big on the East Coast, isn't it? I don't know. I feel like that's always a Boston joke. <laughs> Maybe. I, I really don't know. Greg says Foodie Donuts in Portland. Okay. <laughs> have you ever had Krispy Kreme? And have you also had Dunkin' Donuts? And can you compare and break the two against each other? Thank you. 
<laughs> Greg said, have I had Duncan? You mean this week? <laughs> Like, I don't feel like I had Dunkin' Donuts until I was in my late 20s. Because, like... Yeah, like I said, there weren't any close to us, really. And then, like, in the last 10 years, they started opening up near us. Like, I was aware of them. It wasn't one of those things that, you know, somebody would tell you about. And you'd be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's just like, you know, like, in America, like, you know what a Dunkin' Donuts is. But they were not prevalent around here and my parents always went to Krispy Kreme like that's like a big you know I think that is like a, a bigger place in the south I know you didn't like these donuts but I always really liked those shitty little glazed donuts we got from that that little grocery store down the street. Uh, we were talking about that place the other day. It's food something. Food land? Food giant? No, not food giant. Food, food land. Food land, okay. By, uh... Yeah. Top Games over there. Yeah. I don't even remember those donuts. Like, they sold these dozen... It was like a dozen, um... Glazed donuts in a little plastic tray in a clear plastic bag and it had like a little donut man mascot on it and they were super sticky greasy little donuts Ooh. and you didn't like them but I fucking loved them <laughs> Yeah, Greg says, if only I could explain to you how ubiquitous and ever-present Duncan is here. Oh, wow. Like, that's what I thought it was an East Coast stereotype. Yeah. But I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's just, like, there's just not many here. And, you know, like I said, they weren't present for a while in, in our life, in our lifetime. Uh, Tier says, Tim Hortons was not interesting as far as the coffee. I mean, I would like to go to a Tim Hortons because, like, you know, that's one I definitely hear a lot of jokes about. And, you know, I'm sure that's fine. But Greg says there was a Krispy Kreme there for a bit. They were alright. And he'll be honest that Dunkin' Donuts are not as good as most of the donuts. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I feel like a lot of people would probably agree with that. Because I feel like it's just like a standard, slightly mediocre donut. Whereas I feel like Krispy Kreme does like a little bit of a better specialized job as far as like mass producing donuts goes. Like I, I'm sure it's uh, a regional what you're raised on thing for the most part. Yeah, that makes sense. Do do uh, Greg in your area? Do kids at schools do fundraisers with Dunkin' Donuts? Because that's a big thing with Krispy Kreme. Oh yeah, like, yeah. You sell donuts for fundraisers. Yeah, you can like go to Krispy Kreme and buy tons of donuts and for fundraising. Because when we worked at Domino's, didn't kids just walk in the door? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and be like, hey, buy some fucking donuts. Yeah, and we're like, hell yes, kid. kid. Kids would walk in the door and sell you like half a dozen donuts for like three bucks. And like our manager, before David was manager, would get mad at him and make him leave. <laughs> and I'd be like, what in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> get out of here. This is like, like somebody bestowing fucking celestial ambrosia on me in the in the midst of hell like, uh -huh. let me buy some fucking donuts what are you talking about sending them away Tear asked if donuts are big in your area to Greg, and Greg said, uh, kind of. Massachusetts has a chain called Honeydew, and there's a few indie places that are dope. 
indie donut shops. Indie. Do- I mean, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, but it's just it's so interesting when you apply words that mean the same thing but aren't traditionally used. Yeah. Like, for real, like, if we had a ton of bakeries around here, that would be fucking great. I I would have tried every single fucking one of them, but we have one, and then we had another, and that one couldn't stay in business, and it's just been a bunch of people opening a different name donut shop in it every time, and they get shittier and shittier every time, and now we just can't eat them, because, you know, they're not vegan. Yeah. Rick says he tries not to eat donuts much. So there is a vegan bakery um, about 30 minutes from us now. We don't go there often because it's kind of pricey, but they they don't do donuts, but they do have, like, their specialty is cinnamon rolls. And they make a pretty killer vegan cinnamon roll, and you can actually buy um, a cinnamon roll cake. So it's just a whole pan of cinnamon rolls that they, like, uh, they have, like, probably diff- like 20 different flavors of frosting, and then like a shit ton of uh, toppings they can put on it. Cause like the first time they opened, um, we got a cinnamon, cinnamon roll cake for our birthday and we got um, caramel frost. caramel flavored frosting with uh, fresh apple pieces and pretzel sticks. Mm-hmm. And I think chocolate chips. No, I don't think we got chocolate. Was it chips. just those It was two. just a caramel apple. Caramel app, caramel frosting, pretzel. apple pieces, and and pretzel rods on top, and it was so fucking. Like good. the people commented on it when we came to pick it up. They're like, "That cake looks fucking good." Yeah, yeah. Like we came to get it, and they were like, "This combination looks amazing," <laughs> and we we took it home and ate it, and it was good. Yeah, Greg's like, with Duncan, you always run the risk of donuts being stale. Because, like, every Duncan I've been in is that. It looks, you know, very small. Yeah. Whereas, like, Krispy Kremes, the front is small. There's usually not anywhere to sit, yeah. honestly. And then the whole back is the bakery. Yeah. Like, the, 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 the huge one near us, you can they have it open so you can see the fucking donuts coming off the belt. Oh, my God. There's a, just a conveyor belt. <laughs> like, of I just want to lay on the belt. Because, <laughs> like, there's a conveyor belt of donuts, and it goes under a curtain of, of icing. And I just want to, yeah, I want to lay on it, go under that hot curtain into... <laughs> and in, die. And die into oblivion, you know? Um... Yeah, like, I, I think that is a big difference. It's like, when you go to, when, when I've been to Dunkin' Donuts, they taste kind of old. But when you go to Krispy Kreme, they they always taste, like, very fresh. Which lends credence to what Star Swan was saying. Is like, I think you, I don't think you had a good donut. You just had a fresh donut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, you know, maybe that's the case. Uh, Greg says he should uh, make a map of all the Dunkins near him because he thinks there's one every half mile. That's what it's like here with McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was like in Wisconsin with bars. And subways. Lots of bars, lots of subways, yeah. Ooh. Oh. See if you can talk to him. Hey, homie. Um... And car washes, yeah, Tirith, car washes. No, he just wants to growl That's at me. That's a new thing. Oh, I don't know about this. This is the brand new enemy, and he must just be in this hallway. It's not too bad. (laughs) 
What? Greg says there are a few locations where there are Dunkins on each side of the road, across from each other. That's like a, a joke you hear about Starbucks a lot. Yeah. Again, Starbucks, we didn't really have any near us until the last 10, years. 10 or 15 years. Yeah, like growing up, there were no Starbucks. But I guess they got pretty big in the last 10 years or so, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that didn't go bad. There's nothing. Hey. Where's Whittle Arms? I want, I want to speak, speak with, with you. you. Damn, it was a trick. Oh, it cast panic on me. Two Duncans facing each other. <laughs> Our spawn says there was a spot in downtown Seattle where you could stand and almost see four separate Starbucks locations. Jesus. I would I would have made that like a place you have to pay to come stand in. Like, you know, you go to those points where four states meet. Yeah. <laughs> Little photo op. Huh? Greg says he'll take us on a D D site or a Dunkin' Donuts sightseeing oh, floor. Oh hell yeah. Just cruise around with Greg looking at Dunkin' Donuts. We gotta petition Dunkin' Donuts to make vegan donuts before then. This guy's looking to the side like he's shy. <laughs> Look at his little blinking cyclops eye. He's looking up, so honestly, it makes me think he's like, "What the shit is that? What what's sticking up there above my head?" <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. He's got hooves. He does have hooves. Those are his hooves, you bitch. It's hard to make eye contact. It is. Like, those monsters were just in that hallway. Those were two totally new monsters just in that hallway. That's really weird. And they were both dicks. They didn't <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> Ain't never going back to that hallway. If you just turn left and go all the way to the end of this one, that's where the unexplored area is. Yeah, that's, okay. that's where I'm headed. so happy the week's almost over yeah me too i mean we were off for most of it but <laughs> all right yumiko's strength is 15 so i'm gonna start putting points back into vitality for her Okay, here's another one. Dude, she just did 126 damage in one slash. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, I love to dungeon crawl. There's something so... relaxing about it. I mean, it could get frustrating, of course, but like, just like the very basic, like, walking through the dungeon, fighting monsters mm -hmm. in these old games, is so much fun. <clears throat> Did we decide what you're doing on Monday? Um, Are we still playing that one game? I guess that's what I want to do. Okay, cool. Because that'll be really fun. Okay, so I've gone through all of this starting area here, and now I've gone into this area, and there's a weird jagged chunk here that I don't have access to, so I don't know if I can come back down from upstairs into this area, but this is all I can explore on this level. Alright. So I'm going to go... Get turned to stone? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually just going to use to start and go back to the save, and then save, and then I'll heal, and then I'll go upstairs and see what we can figure out. It's just, we've, we've gone through so much area without a boss. Yeah, like, that's what I was just about to say, is like, I we don't still know. never met Hecate. Yeah, I don't know where Hecate is. Like, it's been, it's been a, a long trek without finding her, which is really weird. Because I, I kind of assumed we would run into her at the end of this hallway, but I guess not. Unless maybe you go up and do some stuff, and then you go back down into that area that I can't get to, and maybe she's there. use for start that'll take us back to the save location we can give her the old save ruski see what level we are we should be like 57 or 58 all right nakajima level 58 Yumiko level 57. Okay, cool. We both have about 13,000 XP to the next level. Alright, so we gotta walk out here to the healer.
can't believe we made it all the way here without fighting anything. So that's good news. Okay. So we are saved. We are healed. And now we are going to... That upstairs room. <sighs> yeah, like Roadkill said, it's almost the end of the week. So I hope everybody has had as best a week as you could. It's been it's been good for us since we had that time off, but it's definitely gonna be Not a grind for the rest of the year, but I'm getting into the, the season where my job starts to, like a lot, of, a lot of stuff has to be done in terms of like running numbers for next year, you know, so got a lot of uh, work coming up probably. Halloween is around the corner, and it's almost time to start watching horror movies for Halloween Movie Marathon, <clears throat> which is one of my favorite times of the year. Very excited about that, and have our whole list made out. Um, I might have to make a couple of adjustments to it, but I do have a very large list of films. I think, I think the list I made for this year is 75 movies. Usually it's 60 movies. But also, the new Hellraiser just came out, I believe, or it's a, right about to come out on Hulu, so certainly going to be adding that. Here it said, did you know that you can watch Little Nicky on YouTube for free with ads? You know, I had heard tell that that was uh, a possibility. So. Which one just watched Men the other day. That is on our Halloween list. Did you enjoy it? I'm kind of eager to see it. Love who you love. So now we're on this, which is brand new. I think I'm going to cast Napara. Oh. Vile Behemoth. Oh my god. Oh, they don't want to fucking talk either. Yeah, you have to be higher level than some of them. Yeah. Oh, look at look at his snoot! Oh, his little snoot's opening and closing. That's really funny. Oh, he's he's taking a fucking beating, huh? Starspawn said men was different in a way that they weren't expecting. Interesting. And good, but weird in a way that a lot of people don't probably don't like. Yeah. I uh I'm eager to see it. I think it's gonna be good.
build out, so it's gonna be a lot of wandering around for a minute. Oh shit. Okay. So that just took us to another place on the same floor. That was a one-way door that I think takes us back. Ooh, there's Dark oh, no. also saw Nope. Nope is, um, yeah, one of the, the last films on our list. I try to pick some of the bigger movies that come out. The, you know the year of to put at the the tail end of our of our Halloween list. If you defeat Persky, you can go to the room with the goddess's statue. So that's what we need, I think, for Hecate is the goddess's statue. Maybe, yeah. I wonder. If, oh, does this put me? On that in that one area it does okay let's see what happens here yeah it told us that it dropped Oh, did the stream drop? Yeah, I mean, it, it's back. I don't know. We do everything we can to make the internet work as well as possible. But... It, it just, it's been doing this lately. I don't know why it's doing this. Very lame. Very not cool. Star Spawn says he liked Nope, but not sure he would say it's horror. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I really, I really want to see it. Um, I assume I'll like it. I've liked everything else Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jordan Peele has done. We've been talking to Tirith about Jordan Peterson too much. Like everything else that Jordan Peele has done. <laughs> Aside from the Twilight Zone show, which I think was a misstep, but... I said I I think I will like Nope because I've liked everything else Jordan Peele has done aside from the Twilight Zone reboot which you know, I know he didn't direct that but I don't know I just still feel like it was a little bit of a misstep but everything that he's directed I've really enjoyed. Izanami is being held here. That's like a good goddess, I think, that you're supposed to be helping. But Nakajima couldn't do anything for her. Interesting. She had a head shape like the, uh, like your girl. What's her name? 
I don't know. I wasn't. I don't. Like an Iron Maiden? No. Uh, oh, Flatwoods. Yeah, the Flatwoods monster. Okay, yeah. Something's written on the wall. Once the moon's face changes, the path shall reopen. Oh. That's interesting. The path to what? It's, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll post a link to our list on our Discord, our Halloween marathon list. Because mm. uh, I, I can't remember everything that's on it off the top of my head. But it's like, I try to I try to always do a mix of... I try to always do stuff we haven't seen. Um, and I always try to do a mix of... Old stuff and new stuff, um, low budget stuff, uh, sort of highbrow stuff, classics, and sort of like niche cult classics. And I try to stick in foreign films wherever I can, you know, like what I can find. Um, and then we always watch Over the Garden Wall and The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, we watch Over the Garden Wall and The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think we're going to watch Casper this year. We talked about doing that. Um, <clears throat> I think I put Onibaba on our list this year. Okay. Because we watched... Two years ago, we watched Qui Dawn. Mm -hmm. Last year, I think we watched... Kuroneko. Kuroneko. And, uh, yeah, this year I wanted to watch Onibaba. I think there's a few other Japanese... Yeah, are we going to watch Yokai Total Warfare or whatever? Yeah, I put I put the, the, the Yokai Warfare trilogy on our list this year. It's sort of stuck somewhere in the middle of the month. The Monster Warfare, whatever. I know it's something Warfare. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I feel like that's a movie you always see clips from. Yeah, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Oh, my gen's about to die. That's not good. Also, Nakajima has been poisoned since, like, two fights ago. I keep forgetting to heal him. You can just use Jewel on him if you want. That'll cure poison and fully heal him. I may need to do that. Let's see what happens after this fight. Well, I mean, I wouldn't do it if his health is close to 400 still, but... Yeah. Uh. Let's do that. Let's get a couple of these going. I would like to at least look at everything in this area before I have to go back to the save and heal and everything. Okay. 
So let's walk over here. A lot of monsters here. Yeah, if anybody sees any good horror stuff, you know, let me know. Um, I will always take a recommendation. We haven't watched nearly as many movies this year as we usually do. Mm -hmm. Not had the brain power to watch movies. Yeah, yeah, and we're sitting around like we've just been sort of spaced out. It's been a weird year. But we've got our living room set up being a little more comfortable now, so... Maybe we can get back into ingesting trashy horror media. <laughs> I need to post the carnage too, because I uh, one of my VHS shelves collapsed the other day. <laughs> like the whole shelf just fucking fell apart, and it was just a like a man. Broke. My controller just disconnected, and then it reconnected. We lost audio. Mhm. Mm What's up with that? Hang on. Yeah, why did that happen? I don't know. Can you guys hear us, and can you hear the game now? Because we can't hear the game anymore, but I think it should be playing on your end. I'm not sure what happened just then. Like, okay. Yeah, like, I don't think that was our internet. It's like everything connected to the PC blinked off for a second. So, like, we lost all control over stuff for a minute. I don't know what happened. Um. Just want to play video games. I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the rest of this and we might wanna call it quits before I lose a bunch of progress. Yeah, like our, our mic disconnected as well, which is very strange. Yeah, Tira says we've been having connection issues for the past thirty minutes. That's so weird. I don't know what's causing it. Like, we're plugged directly into the shit. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna let you start. Back to the save. And... Starship one said, have you seen Don't Look Now with uh, Donald Pleasance? Not Donald Pleasance. Donald Sutherland yeah. is in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great one. I really, mm -hmm. I really love that movie. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to... Have you seen um, The Changeling? <laughs> We're talking about older... Really good movie. Oh yeah, the, who's in that? I can't remember that dude's name. That older dude. Yeah, I don't know who the actor is. So, yeah, the Changeling is also very good. Um, all right, I. Yes, yeah, that's that's the dude. The dude that plays Patton. You're you're correct, Star Small. Um, George C. Scott. 
Yeah, like, I know it's some big-name actor, but it's somebody from well before my time, you know, but it's still a yeah. prominent name. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna... Let me save again. I'm afraid that I didn't, I didn't save. I can't remember if I saved or not. Alright. Um... I'm gonna end the game, but I'm gonna bring up the list real quick and briefly scan over it. Because I like talking about stupid ass movies. That's not the right list. I got a lot of lists. But um, but um, but um, but um. You gotta fit it. I don't think that's right, actually, because it's, what is it? Never mind. Ah, uh, where's the fucking... That's fucked up. I mean, you could switch to the 16 by 9. That'll be good enough. Okay. Uh, Star Spawn says he finally watched like Mungo a few months back, and he, he said he was avoiding it because he got it confused with the cheesy giant alligator movie. Lake fucking Mungo. <laughs> Talk about Lake Placid. <laughs> uh, Black Phone, I think, is on our list. We'll see. Can you guys see this list now? Um, because I got um, I got the the Hostel films because I've actually never seen those. Uh. I, uh, I don't know. When they came out, I just didn't see them for some reason. Yeah, they, I think they were just overhyped. And we they were, were like, who cares? Yeah, yeah, but I've never seen them, so I'll put those on here. All the Poltergeist films, um, yeah, including we, the remake, which I've never seen. Yeah, we've seen the first one. You and I have watched the first one. Yeah. I've seen the other two when I was a kid, but um, I haven't watched them uh. since then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Um, scalps. Which is just an 80s low budget bullshit, but it's been on my list to watch for a long time. Death Rider and the House of Vampires, which is uh, Glenn Danzig's second feature film endeavor. Uh, incredibly, incredibly stoked to see this cinematic masterpiece. Um, can't believe it's not Criterion yet, uh, but you know, uh, be on the lookout uh, when the Oscars roll around because I'm sure it's gonna. Sweep the categories. <laughs> like, uh, Star Spawn, have you seen um, er Veronica D Danzig's movie that came out a couple years ago? I'm sure we've talked about it on here before, but it's like, it's fucking something, bro. <laughs> um, Eli is. I think it's just a movie that's on Netflix. Uh, I don't know much about it, but it's it's been on my list, so I decided to stick it on here. Star Spot says they have not. Oh, oh, you got to watch Veronica. It's uh, it's it, bad. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It's really that's, bad. That's... Watch it with friends, though. Yeah. Watching it alone is like drinking alone. I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen, and that's that's saying a lot. So, um. Here's a, a classic Chinese movie. This is The Oily Maniac, uh, which is, um, what's that studio? Shaw Brothers. I think it's Shaw Oh, yeah, is it? I think it's Shaw Brothers. I don't think it has any, any kung fu, but um, 
I've never actually read the synopsis for this, but this is just the Toxic Avenger. A cripple takes revenge on criminals by using a magic spell that transform him, transforms him into an oily monster slash superhero. So this is just 1970s Chinese uh, Toxic Avenger. So that should be interesting. I really have been wanting to watch that for a while. Um, I don't know what this is. A lot of these movies I put on lists as I see stuff about them throughout the year. So, yeah, okay, so this is a French movie called Piggy that came out this year. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've never seen anything else by this director, but I, I, I must have heard something about it at some point. Um, Uninvited, which is... Hell yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> 88. So just, just one of those like lesser-known classic 80s horror films that we just haven't seen for whatever reason. You're not going to say anything about Father's Day? Oh, fuck. I forgot. I skipped over that. This is... um. I think this is Vestron 6, right? Because they did the editor. No, no, this is not Vestron. My bad. But it is the same the same duo that made the editor. But this is an earlier film. The editor is pretty enjoyable if you if you like classic Giallo films. But I have not seen Father's Day. And I think it's more of like a, a violent exploitation kind of thing. But um, yeah, then we got uh, Yokai Monster Spook Warfare. So that's from 68. So it's just like full on Japanese uh, rubber suit monsters and shit. Um, and then it sequels uh, 100 Monsters and Along with Ghosts. Um, Young Goodman Brown from 93, which is a, an adaptation of the Hawthorne story. Um, I'm not sure. I almost want to say this might have been a TV movie. I'm not sure. But, I don't know. It's just one that, again, I've had on my list for a minute. You were, you told me about this movie, didn't you? Recycle. I don't remember. You don't remember this? No. <laughs> Somebody told me about this. I don't remember who. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a... It's a Chinese... It's a Chinese... Um, film from 2006. I don't know who told me to watch it. But um, it's from the director who made The Eye. And The Messengers. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what to expect there. It may be bullshit, but somebody told me it was good for some reason, and I, I'm drawing a blank. Um, what is Slap <laughs> I think this might... I can't remember if this was supposed to be good or funny, but uh, I don't know. It's on some streaming service. <laughs> We've dropped again. Beautiful. All right, uh, we've dropped again, so. <laughs> you did not. Star Spawn, you did not just see a Dunkin' Donuts ad on our stream. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. It's fucked up is what it is. Um... Okay, and I don't know, there's a lot of stuff on here, like, some of it may or may not be good, but, like, the, the stuff that I really want to see is right around the end here, so, Men, um, X, which is Ty West's new movie, and I don't know, I, I don't know if the, the, the prequel to this movie that I guess they filmed at the same time, I think it's coming out, it may be out by the time we can watch, we watch this, so we may watch both of them, um, 
did you like X? Like I like Ty West, but I don't I don't find his stuff always to be amazing. So I don't know. Um Catching uh Spiral, the the newest Saw movie. The remake of Slumber Party Massacre and the remake of The Craft. I've heard the remake of The Craft is not good, but I am gonna watch it. Um, this is scream. The new Scream, which we haven't seen yet. Uh class- I haven't heard anything about it. I mean, it's probably whatever. It's probably <laughs> nothing, but I want to watch it. Um, Peeping Tom, which is a classic uh, that I've never seen from, like, old classic, too, from 1960. Like, it's it's always cited as an early entry into, like, sort of the modern horror milieu. Um, Lamb, which I've wanted to see since that first trailer. Black Phone. Titan, I've heard from several folks, is one of the best horror movies from last year, and I have not seen it yet. Star Spawn says X was okay. I find Ty West kind of dull. Not bad, but not super interesting. X was better than other stuff. So, how would you compare X to... Have you seen House of the Devil? Because, like, House of the Devil is probably my favorite Ty West movie, but that may be what you mean by dull. Like, maybe you found that movie really dull, which I could understand if you did. Uh, Cure for Wellness which is one from several years ago, uh, 2016, that I just skipped over for some reason. I really want to watch it now. Um, uh, Santa Sangre, which is Yodorowsky, right? Yeah. Um, Yodorowsky's, like, I think probably his most horror-themed film. What is this? Crimes of the Future. Crimes of the Future, the new David Cronenberg movie. I really want to see this. It's got Vigo. It's got Kristen Stewart. We were just talking about her the other day. Yeah, we were. I really want to watch this. I hope it's good. Um, I mean, it's got a decent rating, so I hope it's good. I, I love Cronenberg. I love C. Vigo and anything, so. Uh, Onibaba, which is just classic Japanese horror, and then Nope to round out the year. And then, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas and Over the Garden Wall to sort of close out our marathon. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff, but I'm really eager to see a lot of these that I've got scheduled for the end of October. The Innkeepers made me sleepy. I can understand that. So, like, I, I, I feel like... I like House of the Devil a ton. It's my favorite Ty West movie, and I really liked The Innkeepers, but it it didn't pull it off as well as as House of the Devil did. So I could understand that sentiment. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's bad film, but it's definitely not his best. Have we not seen Antlers? No, uh, no. No, you're thinking of um, something else. Whose name is escaping me? Uh, also, the Fear Street movies are on the list because yeah. we never got around to watching them. Yeah, we never watched the Fear Street films. <clears throat> so yeah, <clears throat> Pearl comes out this year, or maybe it just came out. I don't know, but it is it is a prequel to this movie. And like I said, I guess they must have filmed them at the same time. Um, but yeah, House of the Devil, certainly my favorite film from him. I like the innkeepers. Uh, the sacrament was good. It was not my favorite, like content-wise for a horror movie, but it was very good. I think I've got this movie on our list as well. Like this is one. that uh, he directed back in 2005. I had never heard of this until I was looking for, for some stuff this year. Your man's in it. I'm sorry, who? Larry Fessenden. Oh, Larry Fessenden's in it. Good, good. Um, and yeah, he's, in, he's, he's done stuff for ABC's The Death and VHS, which, you know, that stuff's always good. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm excited for Halloween. seen any Jeremy Saulnier films. Is that um, uh, Blue Ruin and Green Room? 
that guy, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, dude, I, um, I've seen, I've seen Blue Ruin, and I've seen Green Room, um, <clears throat> I have not seen Murder Party, and I've not seen Hold the Dark, but I've seen those other two, and I fucking love them. Um, Blue Ruin is a masterpiece, in my opinion. I mean, I really like Green Room, too, um, <clears throat> like, I, I wouldn't rate it any lower, but I really like Blue Ruin. Check out Hold the Dark. Where the fuck is our list? It's right there. Oh, there it is. I will check out Hold the Dark. Absolutely. <clears throat> Are you on Letterbox, Star Spawn? You may be. Maybe we talked about this already. Or maybe you're not. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be all from us tonight. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's a good, it's a good site if you watch a lot of stuff or if you just want to keep up with what you have watched. Cause like, that was one of the main reasons is, uh, I just, I kept forgetting like if we had or hadn't seen a certain horror movie yeah like for real we would start movies on netflix and about 10 minutes in be like oh we've seen this yeah, <laughs> yeah it's well, sorry but anyway yeah thanks for hanging out everybody um we'll be back monday with a new game um do you want to announce the new game i mean sure it's yeah. not like it's a big game it's what is it it's potato flowers and bloom yeah yeah so we're gonna on monday um i don't know I, I assume we're going to try to do a full playthrough because I think a full playthrough yeah. is supposed, it's supposed to take like 20 hours. Yeah. So we can probably knock it out in a couple weeks. But um, it's a, a party based party management RPG called Potato Flowers in Bloom. That this we, is fun. We played the yeah. demo for like 10 hours. Yeah, we played the demo for like 10 hours over the past weekend. Um, but like you just make a little party and you dungeon crawl and stuff. It's very, very chill and very cute. So we're going to start that on Monday. Um, and I'm going to do some Itch.io demos, some horror stuff on um, Wednesday, or Tuesday or Wednesday, and then, you know, continue Megami Tensei as well. Starspawn says, I tried to make a Facebook review page for horror and weird stuff, but none of my friends really participated. Probably should join Letterboxd. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you should join Letterbox just just because. But I mean, I don't know. A group for that would be cool. We could start something. We could start Discord or something. I don't know. We'll think 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 about it. Think about what we make can do. Make a podcast. That's what everybody does. Yeah. <laughs> just, just make a podcast. How hard could it possibly be to make a good podcast? <laughs> oh, okay. Good night. Night. <laughs>